Hi there, friends. For the most part, we're dry right now. We do have a little bit of rain towards West Virginia. A little bit of that rain trying to seep now into Allegheny, maybe even into Bath counties here over the next hour or so. So the most widespread rain in and around Beckley, up north into areas near Elkins and West Virginia. For us here, we do have a few little showers, say from extreme southern parts of Campbell County, not too far away from Brookneal near Alta Vista, south through Chatham, south into areas just to the west of Danville. All this pushing to the east at around about 25 miles per hour, looking at a few more showers developing here overnight. Okay, it's all because of the remnant moisture from what was once Hurricane Irma. You can see the spin in and around Huntington, West Virginia. The actual low is going to go just north of us, but it's going to drag a disturbance overhead tonight into tomorrow. What it's going to do is allow us to have some scattered showers around, maybe even a stray storm tomorrow afternoon, but the instability looks to be pretty low. So future tracker showing that overnight. We are looking at a few more showers likely developing after midnight. Then as we head into Thursday morning at around say 730, 8 o'clock, the best chance for some isolated showers will be west of Roanoke out to say towards the Mountain Empire and New River Valley. Then the rain I think becomes a little more widespread as we head into the afternoon. Again, maybe even a stray rumble or two of thunder the farther south and east you go late in the afternoon into the early evening. But overall it looks like probably by around 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow evening. Most of the rain is gone. Skies may actually clear out a wee bit tomorrow night and then Friday morning may actually be partly sunny and dry, but by Friday afternoon we will still have the chance for some isolated showers. So chance for rain tomorrow 30-40% chance for rain on Friday at around 20 or 30%. So as far as how much rain we see here locally as we head from now through Friday, anywhere between maybe a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch of rain before all is said and done with perhaps those higher totals west and those lower totals a little bit farther to the east. This does not look to be a big rainmaker for us by any means. And again, it sounds bad that the remnant moisture from a very strong hurricane is heading in our direction, but you got to keep in mind that it's been on land for several days and the land has pretty much just ripped it apart. Speaking of a hurricane, we still have Jose out there. Winds up to now 80 miles per hour. Category 1 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson scale. As far as where it's going to go, we'll show you that here in a second. Gusts up to 100 miles per hour, moving now west at 3 miles per hour. It's going to make that loop-de-loop -loop and then pretty much bisect North Carolina and Bermuda. Should uh, go in between those two areas and may clip perhaps the maritime provinces of Canada by mid to late next week before falling apart into the North Atlantic. Should have no impact on our weather here and with the exception of rip currents along the Outer Banks. It should do really very little to the United States unless it decides to jog maybe 50 to 100 miles farther to the west and then it could perhaps bring a little bit of rain and wind into Maine. But uh, again, and that's highly questionable at this point. 61 in Hot Springs, 63 Lexington, 67 South Boston, 61 in Withville. It's a little bit warmer out to the west. We're going to tap into that warmth more likely Friday into the weekend. Tomorrow, because of the clouds and showers around, temperatures may actually be held down a little bit. It's been breezy out there today. Those winds have really settled down, and that could set the stage for some fog overnight tonight. Winds right now between 2 and 9 miles per hour. Tonight, patchy fog, few showers, overnight lows in the 50s and 60s. For the day tomorrow, mostly cloudy, spotty showers, even a stray storm. Highs mainly in the 70s, although the higher elevations could stay in the 60s. 3 degree guarantee high on Thursday, 76. Up to 79 Friday, low to mid 80s Saturday on. Chance for maybe a stray shower or two Saturday. Ditto for Sunday. Hit or miss thunder showers may return Monday and Tuesday, but not one day over the next seven days. Looks to be quote unquote a washout. Today we forecast a high of 79. Actual high was 80. $10 in the pot, $210 raised for the